right to have a hearing on this? Are you choosing to waive your right to have the hearing, sir? I'm, I don't want to get in no more trouble than I'm already in. Miss Miss Watson, I apologize for even upsetting you. I'm just trying to do the right thing so I can finish paying my probation off. I, I don't want to, I don't want to lose my job. And if I lose my job, I won't have nowhere to sleep because I'm paying for my bed. I just got a new bed in my room. And if I don't pay for that bed, I, I won't have nowhere to sleep in my room. And I just want to be home with my family. I'm 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 admitting to everything that I did wrong, but I will I will please like to be released so I can go to my family's funeral next week. My my little cousin flew out the window a couple a week ago. So I'm just it's it's hard for me to even I, I was done because of the simple fact is because I was trying to find my mom, my mom's here and I, I would like to spend time with my mom. I would like to stay on my tether. If you can give me a second chance, this is the only chance I will ask for again. And it, well, sir, I, my question simply was, are you waiving right to the hearing? Yes. No. Do you want to sit up and talk with the judge concerning this case? Yeah, sure. All right, we'll sit up, sir. All right, Joanna, go ahead. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Detlef. Could you please state your name? Well, uh, yeah, Mr. Detlef. Thank you, sir. I want, a, I want a lawyer. I want a lawyer. You can't just send me to court without a lawyer. And I want to be released because I was brought to jail uh, without being read my rights. So this case has been going on for some time. You don't get read rights when there's a bench warrant. Uh. <laughs> Ross Scott, Ms. Washington. Hello, Mr. Scott. Uh, how are you doing? I am okay, sir. So, Your Honor, um, we're all very familiar with the history of these cases and the tether violations. I and as Mr. Scott is too, um, you know, I did. He does understand because I talked to him about it that you know violations of probation can can result in jail time and and neither I nor he wants that. I don't think anyone wants that for him. He is definitely an active participant in the lead program. There's no new charges arising from these new tether violations, which he is not disputing. So he's not requesting a hearing on this. And he did tell me some, what happened recently is um, there has unfortunately been another death in their family and there's a funeral coming up. And um, so his family's in town and he he's admitting to violating the tether all right um this is the second tether violation within the last week um the violation this time indicates that the defendant failed to comply with the terms of the tether um and this one is has a date of i think it was like May 9th to May 10th, where May he didn't 10th. come home one night. He did not come home. Yeah. So are you entitled to have a hearing on this, this uh, violation of, of the uh, probation? As you are aware, there are multiple cases, the maximum penalties and the most serious offense is one year in the Washington County Jail. There is uh, several that have 90 day maximums. If you are admitting to violating the terms of your probation for the second time, there is a very good possibility that you could serve the maximum penalties in these particular cases. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, ma'am. Is that what you're choosing to do? You have a right to have a hearing on this. Are you choosing to waive your right to have the hearing, sir? I'm, I don't want to get in no more trouble than I'm already in. Miss Miss Watson, I apologize for even upsetting you. I'm just trying to do the right thing so I can finish paying my probation off. I, I don't want to I don't want to lose my job. And if I lose my job, I won't have nowhere to sleep because I'm paying for my bed. I just got a new bed in my room. And if I don't pay for that bed, I, I won't have nowhere to sleep in my room. And 
I just want to be home with my family. I'm 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 admitting to everything that I did wrong, but I will I will please like to be released so I can go to my family's funeral next week. My my little cousin flew out the window a couple a week ago, so I'm just it's it's hard for me to even. I, I was done because of the simple fact is because I was trying to find my mom. My mom's here, and I, I would like to spend time with my mom. I would like to stay on my tether. If you can give me a second chance, this is the only chance I will ask for again. And it, oh, sir, I, my question simply was, are you waiting right to the hearing? Yes. All right. Do you admit to violating the terms of your probation by not coming home like you were supposed to, sir? Yes, ma'am. All right. I find that there's a knowing, willing, um, and voluntary plea to the violation of the probation. Um, Mr. Burdell, are you satisfied? People are satisfied. Mr. Pence is satisfied. Thank you. All right. Um, I, I heard his plea. I'm not letting him out. We just did this. And Can you please let me out this one oh, time? Hold on, Baraj. Hold on. Let Judge Washington speak. I know you respect her a lot, so... Just give her a chance to speak. That's thank you. Sorry. Yes, we we just did this. I just listened to his plea so that he could please. get out. And the same very night please, did not come home. Please, 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 just one more chance. Nope, we're done oh. with that. Well, so how long am I gonna have to do that? We're gonna bring you back for sentencing in these cases. Can can I please just get one more chance, Ms. Yonner, please? Because I, if I get caught off my so if I get cut off my social security, I won't be able to get on it for like six months. And I can't wait that long. And I have to, I have to do, I have to, I, I won't be, I'm paying for my bed at home. Please just give me one more chance. I won't violate no more. Just give me one more chance. This is the last chance I asked for. If you give me this last chance I asked for, I won't violate. I did good for four months. I can Mr. do Scott, it. Mr. Scott, I said no, and I'm muting you at this time. All right, I'll bring him back for sentencing in this particular case. I'm gonna bring him back. They're gone on next week, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring him back on June 2nd. Hopefully we can get a report in time. June 2nd, 2022 at 10 a.m. Bond is continued in each of these cases. Thank you, George. We'll talk about what your sentence is gonna look like then, sir. In 24 hours after you beg me to give you another opportunity. Um, Mr. Bannis, is there something you'd like to say on behalf of your client prior to sentencing? Um, Your Honor, I will just quickly say that um, I am asking you to give him one more chance, especially with his participant participation and lead program. I think Mr. Scott needs to realize that if you give him this one more chance, next time he might be facing up to a year in jail. So I'd ask that you give him the 22 days uh, credit and um, it, um if you were to sentence him to 30 days, I'd ask that you give him the 22 days credit that he's been in on the, uh, since the most recent violation. Thank you. Mr. Burdell. Judge, I'll defer to probation on this matter. Probation in the court. Mr. Scott, is there anything you'd like to say prior to sentencing, sir? Yes, ma'am. If I can talk. Yes, if I, I understand now. I was just going through a lot, so please bear with me. I didn't mean to disrespect you last time when I came to court to talk over you. I'm so sorry. I apologize for that, and I hope you accept my apology. My mom was my mom was up here. I just wanted to see my mom. I stayed a little late, and you know she was going. She was crying because you know she ain't seen me in so many years. And I'm being honest. She I was on Bell Street. That's where I was at when the police arrested me. I, I, I just want one more chance to go home so I can, you know, do the right thing. I don't want to be in here. Please, can you give me one more chance? That way you can see how good I would do and I will continue to do good. I just want to be with my family and continue with going to work. I don't want to lose my job. And I, I really just pray that you give me another chance today so I can go home. 
That's all I would like to say. My granddad just got out the hospital and it's it's really it's really taking a toll on me. I did 23 hour lockdown. I never want to do this again. I just want one more chance. Please, Mr. Your Honor, please. That's all I would have to say. I'm really tearing up right now because I don't know what else to say. Mr. Um, Scott, um, you know, it's really difficult to try to figure out what to do for you. Uh, we've been trying to give you uh, an opportunity. We gave you additional time on the tether so you could spend time with family. Um, family could come to see you. There are a whole lot of options that are available. The option you chose was in direct violation of this court's order from the day before when you begged me to let you out. And um, I hear you, I hear you saying how difficult it is in there. Um, I need you to understand that you are looking at up to one year in the Washtenaw County Jail. You need to understand that you need to figure out how to get it together. Oh. Yes, sir. May I say something? Because I wanted to raise my hand before I talk. I I didn't yes, sir. I acknowledge you. Okay. Um, I understand I'm facing up a year. I don't want to get to do another year in here. My granddad, like I said, my granddad just got out of the hospital. This is one last chance I ask. I will not beg you no more. And I will do the right thing. Can you please just give me one last chance? My second chance, I will not violate no more. I promise. I'm really tearing up. I ain't, I, don't, I don't think I could do it here. I won't, I won't do it no more. I just want one more chance, and I promise I'll do continue to do good, please. This is my last chance I ask you. I won't ask you for no more. Please. Sir, this is the third chance, by the way, just so you understand. Yes, ma'am. And you're not going to like how I'm going to give you this chance, but I will give you a chance. Yes, ma'am. It is the sentence of the court that you serve 30 days in the Washtenaw County Jail. I'm going to give you credit for 22 days, okay? They mm -hmm. give you credit for five days for every 30 days you've done, so that's 27. You may have to do another two or three days, okay? Two or, three, two or three days before I could leave? Yes. However they calculate it, that would be up to the jail, but that is what your sentence is going to be, and then you're going to be reinstated on probation with all of the original terms and conditions. Okay. okay? So, so how many days do I have to do, Your Honor? As I just indicated, sir, that's up to the jail for them to decide, but it's going to be a, somewhere between two and three days. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Mr. Scott. Yes, ma'am. Do not violate again. I won't. I won't. I won't. Thank you for giving me this chance to, you know, I, I really appreciate you. I really do. I really do. I really, I really do. You're ready. The court will call the case of Ypsilanti Township versus Benjamin Detlefs. Ticket number 21W001631. Um, I'm going to ask this individual, does he want to participate in the old cell? <laughs> Sir? Sir? Hello? <laughs> Give me a second. Let's try and get this guy, get this guy to respond. You want to speak to the judge? Why? So you keep your range on your charges? No? Sure? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, you're on a Zoom meeting. You want to speak with the judge? Who are charges? And where's your false, false info to a police officer? Want to get a ring on that, sir? I do. No. Do you want to sit up and talk with the judge concerning this case? Yeah, sure. All right. We'll sit up, sir. All right, Your Honor, go ahead. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Detlef. Could you please state your name? Uh, yeah, Mr. Detlef. Thank you, sir. You're here to be arraigned on a bench warrant for your failure to appear 
on April the 20th for a uh, charge of false info to a police officer. Okay. Can you understand what I'm saying, Mr. Detlefs? No. You were charged with false info to a police officer. This case has been going on for quite some time. And you didn't show up to court on several occasions. First on March 23rd. Well, first on February 9th and then on March 23rd and then on April 20th. Well, bench warrant was issued. Okay, sir. I didn't assault anybody. I'm sorry. I didn't assault anybody. Yeah, this is not for assault. This is for false information to a police officer from 2021. Why did you just say it was? Hello? I didn't say that. I said you didn't show up yeah, for court. You, didn't. you did say it was for assault said false info to a police officer. Ms. Uh, Perini. I want, a, I want a lawyer. I want a lawyer. You can't just send me to court without a lawyer. And I want to be released because I was brought to jail uh, without being read my rights. So this case has been going on for some time. You don't get red rights when there's a bench warrant. Uh, Good morning, Your Honor. Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perney on behalf of Mr. Detlefs. Um, Mr. Detlefs did not want to speak with me this morning, so I have not spoken with him as to why he did not appear for court. Um, I'm not sure if he's in a position to provide that information as well. I don't think he's in a position to provide that information. Um, what I'd like to do is put it on for Wednesday um, of this week. I'm going to um, continue the, I'm going to set him a bond in the amount of uh, 5,000, 10% and continue his hearing to this Wednesday, the 18th at 9 a.m. Understood. Okay, you're um, just finish, Your Honor? Judge. Yes, I am. Mr. Barnett, I noticed that you're on here for this case. I, I'd like